Chaos Group had a premiere video on YouTube and it got everyone talking and wondering what the announcement would be and they didn't disappoint. Alongside a rebrand, what was most exciting to me was the V-Ray 5 Update 1. And this update included access to Chaos Cosmos. So the Chaos Cosmos is a content library that can be used across all V-Ray packages. So the assets are gonna work in V-Ray for 3DS Max as well as SketchUp, for example. Alongside Cosmos, we've got improved materials in the viewport, so they're gonna look a lot closer to how they're gonna look in their final render. We've got advanced material override, masking in the V-Ray frame buffer. The ability to have multiple dome lights in one render is gonna be massive, so we can switch them off with the light mix. And we've got a auto translate of physical materials, so you're not gonna have me asking, have you converted to V-Ray? We've got batch camera rendering for KS Cloud, so we can just submit one scene and choose what camera angle we want to use. And there's also a new camera lister. Let's take a look at how we can get this installed and what we've got. First thing, head over to Chaos Group, go to download, and let's download the latest version. Got the nice new logo there. Um, I'm on 2020, so I'm going to download that. And I'll jump back in once we've downloaded it and installed it. So we can see on the V-Ray toolbar, we've got some new buttons and some changed buttons as well. So the Submit to Chaos Cloud rendering button has changed a little. And we've also got this V-Ray camera lister now. And if we open this up, we can see that we now have a camera lister that is organized by type of camera. And it also gives us the ability to make changes to our cameras. And this is gonna save a lot of time rather than having to select them from here and making the changes in the modify panel, we can make changes in any of our cameras. So the cloud button has been updated and now when we submit to the cloud, we have the ability to render different cameras rather than having to submit them individually. So you'll see what I mean when we get over into our chaos cloud. So now we can select what cameras we want to render Previously, we'd have to select the camera and then send it to the cloud and then select the other view and send it to the cloud. So this is another massive time saver. And now on to what I'm most excited about, which is this Cosmos browser. So we can just open it up and we can have a look for uh, assets we like and basically drag and drop them into the scene. You can also show assets that you've already downloaded over here, which is quite useful. And you'll also be able to see assets that you have downloaded with a tick in the top left. And finally, there's a search bar, so you can search for certain objects, which is really good. I mean, organizing assets has always been a bit of a mission with 3ds Max and keeping everything organized, so this is a massive help. So obviously if you're working on multiple screens, it's gonna be easier um, than having this over the top of your 3ds Max UI. Let's take a look at bringing some of these models in. If we go over to furniture, let's go to bedroom. And if you haven't already downloaded an item, you can just click here and it will download and it will let you know when it's ready. So you can just drag and drop objects in. Let's bring this bookcase in. So I'm gonna position that. And we'll see as well, we have lighting, vehicles, um, all sorts of stuff, vegetation, which again is huge. I mean, in a lot of the tutorials we do, I show you how to find assets, download them, convert them, prep them, and then bring them in. And you can just imagine how much time this is gonna save. So we jump to our camera and we can bring objects into the scene just using this green button and choosing which version, if you've got multiple versions of Max open, which one you wanna bring it into. So that's in progress and there's our asset. And now we can move that into position. And I've got a feeling that this is rather big, so I'm gonna scale it down as well. 
and we're also lucky enough to have access to people as well i think these are from uh, render people so there's some really good assets in here um i downloaded jana earlier so i'm going to drag and drop her in let's move her into position She can be looking out the window and you can see how quickly it is now to populate a scene. And another really cool thing is the HDRI. So I've downloaded free and I'm just going to drag and drop these into our scene. And what we can do, make sure you've got light mix enabled by going to your render setup and in your render elements, add in a light mix render element. And now if we go to our camera view, we run an interactive render. Our light mix that we have the three different light sources. Um, so we're rendering with three HDRIs on and we can just turn everything off. And what I really like now, so if I hold Alt and Click the other light, then we can see these different light scenarios. These are three different HDRIs. This is one render, um, so we can select what HDRI we like using Alt. If we don't hold Alt, then obviously it's going to turn on all three, which we don't want. Um, and say we chose this light, this HDRI, then we could go ahead and light the rest of our scene. So that's another massive update to V-Ray. And if you haven't downloaded it already, then I don't know what you're waiting for. You can find a link in the description. And thanks very much for watching.